Hello everybody, this is Glenda with Fraylins and Friends Crafts Plus. And I'm gonna do some sculpting. I'm going to start a flamingo. Start. <laughs> I'm going to cover this. This is the one I drew. I'm not going to make it that big. <laughs> but my thing is going to be balanced. So I'm going to try and weight more of the clay up here on this part. And kind of put and I'll balance the legs, put the legs of the flamingo back on the end here. That way, hopefully, it'll counter counterbalance, and I'll put some holes in this. It's it's not wood, it's foil and cardboard, but I want to put some, some way of holes in the clay or something so that I can kind of stick the wires in there. Okay, we are going to start with this. Let me get you where you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, let it open it. <laughs> Helps to open it. If there's anybody out there who wants to do a collaboration sometime, doesn't have to be the clay. We can do it with something else. I think it would be fun. I'm just putting some oven bake adhesive on there or glue as some people might call it. It'll dry in the oven. But I would, I would like to do some collaborating on, on some art or something. And that would just be really cool for me. I am using the ultralight. See if I can use that to help build up some weight on this side. We don't have to be in the same particular geographical area to collaborate. We can do, we can compare color pages or have a contest over color pages. If we do sculpty or do art or sculpture. Okay, I want that much thinner. I don't usually put this through the roller because the sp spaghetti roller because it's much I usually don't have to. Let's put it that way. I just don't have to. But it will help to firm up the rest of this too. It doesn't have to be perfect because, well, I just don't. It don't have to be perfect because it's going to be all covered up. Once I do get this entire base covered with the ultralight and 
get it baked, it will be very, it'll be a lot more solid. And the ultralight might be light <laughs> to work and marshmallowy to work with, but it works wonders once it's baked to stabilize everything. And that's what I'm going for because that way I can, I can make all the mistakes here. <laughs> and then with the Super Sculpey, when I put it over that to make the finished part of it, then it just won't be so, it, it'll already have that roughness kind of out of it. Because this with the Ultra Sculpey doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. It You need some sort of, some sort of thought to it. I mean, you don't want to just leave big masses, except for the one I intend to leave. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm, I'm just stretching it over the ends now, trying to make sure it sticks to the foil with the glue, whatever it takes to get this to the kind of stiffness that I can work with once I get it in the once I get done baking it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I didn't think to mark those holes, so it's not going to hurt anything if I just make a couple of new ones. But I'm going to bake this, and then we will be back and start with the other layer. Okay, we're going to start adding the Super Sculpey. I use the beige I did get a new one of these I gotta figure out where it's at <laughs> but this one's still got some in it ah, helps to open it up wide That's baked it much sturdier than it was. Okay. I use the ultralight to get it to be stiff enough and hard enough for me to be able to go on to this process. This process will be much more finished. It, this is the Super Sculpey that I'm using now. And this gives a much more finished looking product. And I do have to blend the edges of it as I go. That takes That takes some work. Yes, I have it running at a high speed right now because I have a lot more to go here, and if I don't speed up the film, it's simply not going to get there. Basically, I am filling, I'm covering up this, what I've got here now, with the Super Sculpey. And you'll see me using my fingers to blend it together so it doesn't have those ridges. Although you'll be seeing it fairly fast, but... Yeah, we don't want the ridges. We want it to look like one, one piece or one solid um, piece of terrain because that's what I'm trying to make here uh, for the flamingo. I'm trying to make a terrain for it to be stood in. It's the... Uh, Words, Glenda, words. The landscape. <laughs> I want to make a natural looking landscape as much as I can for the flamingo. And I try to do that with the nature's creatures I do. And I just, it's just me. I love nature and so I just really love to try and make it look authentic. I'm not always great at it, but... I try to be the best I can. But as you can see, I've put those toothpicks back in there because I want to make sure 
I have that for the for the wire to go in for the legs and because this is going to uh, look like the legs are in the water because that's going to be kind of a kind of a muddy shallow area that's where they feed because that's where they find their their shrimp and it's a pink shrimp that gives them their pink this is long so I'm going to be putting up a part two watch for that